Hey, we're here with Bruce Knox of Knox Nursery Incorporated, and we also have DJ Matthews, uh, who is an IT person here at the company. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate how these plug trays are packed into boxes for a FedEx shipment using RFID radio antennas to pack the material and track it in as it goes into each box. And DJ, what do you do when you first when you first want to load a shipment? What do you do in the beginning here? Uh, What's the, very, the first step? The very first thing you do is scan the pick ticket. Okay. On every pick ticket there's a barcode that you scan. You barcode scanner. So then, so what just happened there? The the system registered that this barcode was this order and then loaded it into the program. Okay, so it this opened order, up the order. Okay. This order is now ready to be packed. Okay, what's on the screen there before we get too, too, too um, far? Here you have all the lines on the order. Okay. And they are color coded. Red means that they are not been packed. Okay. Yellow means that they are partially packed. And green means that they are fully packed. Okay, and I see something that says container medium box. What does that mean? This is the type of container that you're, that you're putting it in. We okay. have different sizes of boxes and racks that we can put into our plug trays into. Okay. So, for this we're going to use a medium box. Okay. So you put that in the box, and I heard a little scan. That beep was the program registering the RFID antenna on the tray. Okay, and so where is that antenna at? Right here. So I don't see an antenna there. Is it underneath that label? Yes. The RF antenna is embedded inside of the label. Oh, okay. So it scans it as you put it into the box. Mm -hmm. And as we scan it, we keep the record of every tray and serial number that is placed in this box. What happens if you put a tray that's not part of the sales order? It will throw up an error indicating that the tray is not part of this order and it will not allow that tray to be scanned. Okay. That was a good tray. So you have two yellow lines and one red line now. Yep. Okay. So at this point, our box is completely packed. Okay. So now we're going to print the packing label. But that's just, what, what just happened there? The program dialed out to a FedEx server and requested a tracking number from FedEx. Okay. So it then printed a FedEx tracking label okay. and a box content label. So that shows what's inside the box? Yes, it does. And that, and you say it dialed out, did, did it, it, dialed, it, it use it the internet? It contacted over the internet. Okay. And has it got any messages on the screen there? What does that say? Is it just um, telling you that it... It's telling you that it completed successfully. So it was able to contact FedEx, get a label... And print the label out in what about two seconds? Yes. Okay, that's that's amazing. Okay, so not only does it tell you when you scan the wrong tray, but it also tells you if you scan the same tray twice on the same order. Oh, so it actually read the trays that are in that box that you just closed. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to move that box away from here now. Yes. And that's what you're gonna do now, okay. So it scanned all four, all four of them. All four of them. Okay. So as a practice, you're going to move that that box away from here. Yeah. So you're going to the next box in the shipment then. Yep. Okay. Does it matter what order you pack these in, or you can just do anything? No, it doesn't. It does not matter what order they come up, as long as they're part of this order. Okay. Well, what happened there? Okay. This tray was not part of this order. So it's not going to allow you to place this tray inside of this box. Oh wow, so it caught a mistake then. Yep. That's, that's good. 
so you just okay. click click off on that message and then go to the next next tray. Okay. So the tray just feed right up to you here. Yep. Okay. So you have a visual cue and you have a, an audio cue. I see a line just turned green there. Does that lean? Does that mean that line is now that line fully, fully packed? packed. It's fully packed. Yep. Okay. Same thing as last time. So you're printing your package label. So just like that, it went out and got a FedEx label. Amazing. Yep. So you got to close. Okay, so once you move the box away, you then close the container. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Box size change. Box size change. Oh, you have to change the box size? Yes. So the last box is going to be a tall box? It's going to be a tall box because we have five trays. So you can use combinations of different box sizes as you pack? Yes. And it dynamically... It'll tell you how many trays total you can actually put inside of a box. So okay. Okay. So it looks like there's three remaining trays on the screen there, yep. and it looks like you have three remaining trays that haven't been boxed yet. Yep. So it looks like we're online to finish this package properly. And again, it's in the yellow color because it is being packed, uh, but it's not complete yet. If the line's complete, it's green. If it's unpacked, it's red, and yellow is in, in uh, the middle. There you go, they're all green now. So you're gonna Okay. So you get your label. So that's your last label in that shipment now, right? So you got that particular shipment has three labels. What's it say on the screen there? It says printing packing list. So it automatically generates a packing list? Yes. At the end of every shipment, as soon as the shipment is completely packed, it will print off a packing list. That okay. then will go on the box. Well, what does that packing list look like? It has all of our shipping information. It has the barcode that is associated with this shipment. And it has all of our lines that are inside of the shipment. And also the tracking information for this particular shipment. Now that shipment's not, that packing list is not for this shipment. This one is, correct? So this actually has the FedEx tracking numbers on it, okay. and it shows the estimated delivery date. Now this is this data is on your server. Yes. What what do you do with this data at the end of the day? At the Anything? end of the day, we have a process that runs that can send out our tracking numbers to our customers, our brokers, and their representatives. Oh, that's fantastic! So they can get this information in almost real time yes. as you're packing it, or yes. or as you're finished finishing your shipments for the day. Yes. That's fantastic. Okay. So that concludes the FedEx station uh, packing then, correct? Yes.